Really nasty weather at this point, raining and raining hard, plenty of cloud to ground lightning. So far, no major severe weather reported. We do still have a tornado warning in effect for a portion of uh, Sumter County, but it, indications are the National Weather Service is going to let that expire here shortly and most likely will not be extended into Greene County. In the middle here, right up the I-65 corridor and to the east, we have some showers, maybe a bit of lightning and thunder with these two. We've been watching all day for the possibility of supercell thunderstorms that would develop ahead of the line so far. These are not getting very tall, so so far no real severe risk with these, but they will cause some rain, especially over the eastern half of Shelby County, much of Chilton County, and it's headed northeast up into eastern Jefferson County. And look at all that lightning out west. It is a nasty afternoon in Fayette, up to Gue and down to the southwest as well, right on the uh, Pickens-Tuscaloosa County line. It's pouring down rain, poor visibility, and plenty of cloud to ground lightning. Nasty stuff again. No active warnings with that, except up in the Tennessee Valley, but nonetheless making for some terrible traveling conditions as well as just nasty stuff outdoors. There's all the lightning and thunder, plenty of that well back into the state of Mississippi, and that's still moving eastward. That will still be a factor tonight. Even if your area doesn't get severe weather, it's going to rain. It's going to rain hard. There'll be a lot of lightning and thunder too. Tornado watch now extends till 11 p.m., not 7 p.m. like it says there. It includes Jefferson, Shelby, St. Clair, Blunt County, and all the counties to the west in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. In terms of the outlook for severe weather, still a moderate risk much of eastern Mississippi, an enhanced risk further east, Tuscaloosa included in that, Pickens County included. That's a three on a scale of one to five. Then a slight risk right up and down the I-65 corridor, diminishing to a marginal risk toward the east. Damaging winds possible up to 70 miles per hour. Possibility of a few tornadoes and large hail and flooding is going to be an issue tonight. We'll have much more coming up in just a few minutes.